Hello again, everyone. This is American Idioms Part 87. This is the 87th video in my American Idiom series, and like the others, I'll present five idioms to you numbered 431 to 435. But first, I'll give you a chance to guess their meanings. Then, I'll give you the answers along with an additional example for each new idiom. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number 431. To come across as something to someone. And the example is, if he comes across as arrogant to you when you first meet him, don't worry. He's actually a very nice guy. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to be viewed in a particular way. And that's what the person in the example is talking about. This other guy that they are talking about might seem arrogant, come across as, to be viewed as an arrogant person, which is, let's just say, mean person, right? But they're saying, no, he's not arrogant. He's actually a nice guy. So he could be viewed as an arrogant guy, right? He comes across as arrogant, okay? Here's another example. My sister apologized for being late to our meeting, but her apology came across as insincere to me. All right, in this case, this person's sister's apology seemed or was viewed by them as being insincere. Okay, she really didn't mean it. According to how she was viewed, according to how she came across to this person. Got it? All right, and now for number 432. It hit me. And the example is, I didn't understand why my brother was being so nice to me all of a sudden. Then it hit me. He wanted to borrow some money from me. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to suddenly realize something. That's what it means if something hits you, usually all of a sudden, okay? In our example, we're talking about how this person was being treated very nice by their brother, okay? And he's saying, hmm, why is he treating me so nice? And then it hits him. Or he suddenly realizes what's going on. That's why he's so nice. All right, this is how it's used, and this is used quite often. Like our next example. I was wondering how I was going to get to the movies tonight. Then it hit me. I could use my mom's car because she wasn't going to use it tonight. All right. In this case, suddenly the person realizes it hits them. Okay. This is what it means. So the idea here is about his mom, his mom's car would be free tonight, right? So suddenly he understands this. It hits him. This is how it's used. Got it? And now for number 433. Plant a seed. And the example is, things were going well with our new project, but our boss planted a seed of doubt on our progress by taking two of our best workers away from us so that they could work on other projects. Can you guess the meaning?
And the answer here is A. To cause someone to have a certain idea, thought, or feeling about something. And in this case, the person's boss caused them to doubt all of the progress that they were making on their project. So by taking away these employees, right, this is what happened, right? He planted a seed of doubt. Now they're doubting it. Before, things were going well, okay? Let's take a look at another example. I saw many people helping each other after the earthquake last night, which planted a seed of hope in me about humanity that I hadn't felt in years. Now, this example is the opposite of what we just saw in our last example, because this time a seed of hope was planted, right? It caused them to have this feeling of hope. All right, this is how this is used. And now for number 434, snap up something. And the example is, I was able to snap up many good deals during the sale after Christmas because I got to the stores very early in the morning. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is B, to purchase something very quickly. That's what it means if you snap something up or snap up something. Like in our example, this person was able to buy many good deals or many bargains after the Christmas holiday, probably, because they got there early to the store, right? They were able to snap up many good things, buy them or purchase them very quickly. This is how it's used. Like our next example. Good used cars are being snapped up by many car dealerships because consumers don't want to buy expensive new cars. They would rather spend less money and buy a good used car. All right, because of this situation in our example where new cars are very expensive like they are today, these dealerships are actually buying all of the good used cars, all right? They're snapping them up quickly, buying them quickly, okay? So they can resell them and make some money. Got it? That's what it means. If you snap something up or snap up something, you buy it quickly. All right, and now for our final idiom number 435, to turn heads. And the example is, the new concept car turned many heads at the car show last week. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is B, to capture people's attention due to being exceptionally interesting. That's what it means if something turns your head. So quite literally, it could turn your head. You could be looking at something and all of a sudden something's very attractive or interesting and you turn your head to look at it. That's what it means, okay? In our example, they're talking about how this new concept car, people were very interested in it, okay? It was capturing their attention. It was turning heads, maybe literally. Like our next example. She was a runway model and turned many heads any time that she entered a room. Okay, we have a runway model here and everyone turned their head and looked at her. Okay, this is what it means. She got a lot of attention whenever she went into a room. All right, she turned many heads. Got it. That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing and please like and share the video to support the channel. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.